Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the let keyword within JavaScript ES6. Now what the let keyword does is it allows us to declare variables, gets rid of hoisting, and for the first time in JavaScript gives us block scoping. So to get started, let's give an example of hoisting. So the old way I would say var first name and I would assign that the value of Pedro and up here I would print it out. So console.log first name. Now if I hit control S to save, head over to Chrome and actually run this, you'll see that we get the value of undefined. The problem with this is that we really should get a reference error. We're trying to reference a variable that does not exist yet, basically. So this is what in JavaScript we call it as hoisting. This variable is getting hoisted to the top of the script. So that way we get the printout of undefined. So now if I was to change var into, let's say, let, hit Control S to save, head over to Chrome, hit refresh, you can see that we get a reference error. First name is not defined. And that's because first name is not defined. So I'm trying to reference a variable that doesn't exist. So if I use the let keyword, uh, first name does not get hoisted. Whereas if I use the var keyword, first name does get hoisted. And that's why we end up with the undefined uh, value. So now let's talk about block scoping. So uh, I'm actually gonna delete all of this and let's create an if statement. And I'm just gonna say if true, I'm going to say var x is equal to five. And within here, I'm gonna print out the value of x. So I'm gonna hit control S to save, head over to Chrome, hit refresh, and you see that we get the value of five. So what's happening here? Well, in other programming languages, you would have what's called as block scoping. So this variable would only exist within this uh, if statement because of these braces within this block of code. So what you're seeing here is that X exists outside of this if statement. So if I was to change this to let, hit control S to save, head over to Chrome, hit refresh, you can see that we get a reference error. So what's happening? So X is not being defined. Why is X not being defined? Well, because X exists within this block. Once this block terminates, X no longer exists. So that's why we're getting a reference error. So if I was to come up here and say, let X equal to three, hit control S to save, head over to Chrome, hit refresh. You can see that we get the value of three. Now, why is it getting the value of three? Because this X basically is global. It doesn't have a block scoped like this x. So this x can be used basically within anywhere within our uh, script tag. But if I was to wrap this up within an opening and closing bracket, like so, hit control S to save, head over to Chrome, hit refresh, you can see that we get the same reference error. So basically with the let keyword, you get block scoping. So all you need is an opening and closing braces. This X will only live within this block. This X will only live within this block. So that's all you need to remember with block scoping. And let's give a, another example, except this time with closures. So I'm just gonna remove all this and I'm just gonna say var callbacks. And basically that's gonna be an empty array. And we're gonna say four var i is assigned zero, i is less than three, i plus plus. 
And within here, we are basically just going to push uh, anonymous functions into our callback array. So I'm just going to say function, and I'm just going to print it out, the value of i. So what actually ends up happening here is you would expect that uh, all these anonymous functions, if I were to call it, the first instance, i would be 0, second instance, i would be 1, third instance, i would be 2. But that's not what we get, so let's actually call it. So I'm just going to say callbacks and at index 0. And remember, since these are functions, we actually have to call them. So I'm just going to copy this two more times. And we get 1. Two. Control S to save, head over to Chrome, hit refresh, and you can see that we get the classic uh, closure problem that all our callbacks print out three. Well, the solution to this problem would be to wrap this function within an immediately invoked function, pass in the value of i, so that each uh, closure gets its own uh, value of i. But we don't need to do all that. With the let keyword, so if I was just to change var into let, I can say control s to save. And now if I run this, refresh, you can see that each uh, closure gets its own copy of i. And that's because of block scoping, and that's because of the let keyword. So it's a lot more simplistic, and uh, it gives you the result that you want. You don't have to do any tricks in order to get it to work.